That fish bit it four times on that cast. Been throwing, was throwing a lot of top water until this wind got up. Swapped over to a, just a foot wobble head with a uh, kicking bee on it. Been catching a lot of good fish. I use the mini kicking bee or the kicking bee chunk on all of my swim jigs. I mean, that's my number one swim jig trailer. The feet really flare out and kick and, uh, you know, it gives you a lot of disturbance in the water and I just, I mean, I catch a lot of fish. I even caught them at Cayuga flipping this on a one ounce weight, so uh, I use the whole lineup of kicking bee on a lot of stuff and it's just a slow retrieve with that wobble head. It's, it's an easy bait to fish, catches a lot of fish and you cover a lot of water with it. You're not fishing it like a jig, just dragging it real slow, but you're just keeping that moving and those feet are continually kicking back there. And it, uh, I mean, anytime you're around a spawn or around vegetation, it's a really good bait. Sort of uh, an alternate for like a swimming a worm and stuff like that. It's something that gives you a little more, a little bulkier, but also it's a shorter bait. It's a different look than a swimming worm. You know, I mean, as windy as it is and everything, you got a bow in your line, you got a lot out there, so and one just bit it right there. Right there. You gotta just keep winding that bait. Ah, oh, he came off. You gotta keep winding that bait. I mean, he bit it, and I wound probably six or eight feet before I ever tightened up. Take all that slack out. I mean, he's, he's gonna eat the bait, so, uh, you know, you gotta just keep all, take all that slack out before you lean back into him. And usually catch him really good. Crazy. There's a bite. You just gotta keep whining. And sometimes, I mean, they'll swim at you. It's hard to catch up with them. And then that, I mean, all sizes from, you know, it's a 14 inch bass up to six or eight pounders are biting that kicking bee. So, I mean, you know, that's that's the regular kicking bee. It's bigger than the one I put on my swim jigs, but you you know, I just trying to get throw a little bigger bait and get a bigger bite. And all sizes are biting it. The little ones, the big ones. It doesn't matter. There he is. Boy, he was in that grass. It seems like everywhere that we've gotten bit today had to have a, some hard places, clean places. And like you get into an area and it's just all all hydrilla or all pond weed, it doesn't matter. If it's just a solid mat of grass, we haven't been able to get bit. But anywhere you can get around some mix of that grass and sand, it seems like that's where they're at. Like this bait will hang, that bait will hang in the hydrilla and when I pop it out over a clean spot or something is when they're getting the bait. Good fish there. Really good fish. You need a, I mean, I'm throwing 15 pound line and you need a rod, you know, that's with a soft enough tip. This is actually a, a Scott Canterbury Signature Series from Halo and it's got a good soft tip. This is our 7.3 extra medium heavy. I designed this rod to throw a chatterbait on. So that's sort of the action that you're looking for. And uh, that something like that is what the action you need. Something with a soft tip lets the fish get the bait. Because I'm continuing to whine as they hit it. And you don't want it, you don't want it real stiff rod with a you know a real firm tip and they and they'll feel you and not get after it. But these fish are just let them get the bait, take all that slack out. It's a pretty easy way to to cover a lot of water and be efficient while you're doing it. 